learning objectives. After studying this module, students will be able to state the meaning of the terms entrepreneur, entrepreneurship and enterprise. Distinguish between entrepreneurship and management and discuss the characteristics of entrepreneurship. Explain the need for entrepreneurship. Describe the roles and functions of the entrepreneurs. Identify the entrepreneurial competencies. Explain and follow the process of entrepreneurship development. And identify with the values, attitudes and motivation for a plunge in entrepreneurship. Introduction An entrepreneur is a leader who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. Do you know any such person who had shown the way for the entrepreneurs? Steve Jobs, an outstanding example for a successful entrepreneur. Stephen Paul Jobs, an incomparable visionary who laid a milestone in the history of entrepreneurship. His imagination and vision made Apple as the icon of American companies. Even each one of us today remembers Apple as the brainchild of this master genius. Yes, the hard work and vision of Steve Jobs put new meaning to the concept of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneur Entrepreneur is an agent who buys means of production at certain prices in order to sell the produce at uncertain prices in the future. He combines all other factors like land, labor and capital and assumes the risk of running the business enterprise. Entrepreneurship Entrepreneurship is a systematic, purposeful and creative activity which involves identification of needs, mobilization of resources, organizing of production. Enterprise An enterprise is the outcome object of the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship which comes under the scope of an undertaking, especially one of some scope, complication and risk. It is a business organization. It is industrious, systematic activity, especially when directed toward profit. Entrepreneur and Promoter However, an entrepreneur is also known as the promoter as he also assembles the requisite funds and people, undertakes the risk and gives a shape to the business proposition. Those who visualize a business opportunity and are ready to bear the risk are termed as entrepreneurs, while those who take the steps to set up the business and make it operational are known as promoter. Features of Entrepreneurship Entrepreneurship is a systematic, purposeful and creative activity which involves the mobilization of the important factors required for production like land, labor, capital and organization. The important features of entrepreneurship can be discussed below. Systematic activity Entrepreneurship is a systematic activity which involves step-by-step -step process. It is a purposeful activity that requires competency, skill and temperament. It can be acquired, learnt and developed. Lawful and purposeful activity. The object of entrepreneurship is lawful business. It is important to take note of this as one may try to legitimize unlawful actions as entrepreneurship on the grounds that just as entrepreneurship entails risk. Innovation. From the point of view of the firm, innovation may be cost-saving or revenue-enhancing. If it does both, it is more than welcome. Even if it does none, it is still welcome as innovation must become a habit. Organization of production. Production implying creation of form, place, time personal utility requires the combined utilization of diverse factors of production, land, labor, capital and technology. Entrepreneur, in response to a perceived business opportunity, mobilizes these resources into a productive enterprise or firm. Risk-taking As the entrepreneur contracts for an assured supply of the various inputs for his project, 
He incurs the risk of paying them off whether or not the venture succeeds. All other factors will get an assured return in the form of wages, salaries or rent, but the profit for the entrepreneur is uncertain. Functions in relation to economic development An entrepreneur plays a vital role in the national building process as well as his business development. The entrepreneurial functions are classified into functions in relation to economic development and functions as related to his enterprise. The first category is discussed here. Contribution to GDP Entrepreneurs are contributing to the GDP. Increase in the gross domestic product or GDP is the most common definition of economic development. Income is generated in the process of production. So, Entrepreneurs generate income via organization of production, be it agriculture, manufacturing or services. Capital Formation When the entrepreneurs are contributing to the GDP, consequently it supports the capital formation process also. The entrepreneurial decision, in effect, is an investment decision that augments the productive capacity of the economy and hence results in capital formation. Generation of Employment Entrepreneurs are the major sources of employment. When a new business is set up, it creates a number of employment opportunities as well. The new employment contributes to the society and to the nation as a whole. Improvement in Economic Efficiency Efficiency means to have greater output from the same input. Entrepreneurs improve economic efficiency by improving processes, reducing wastes, increasing yield and bringing about technical progress, that is, by altering labour capital ratios. Impact on local communities Entrepreneurship develops the investment culture and create a natural habit to set up small business establishments. Small-scale entrepreneurship enables such marginalized groups as women, SC, ST and OBC to pursue their economic dreams, fostering the spirit of exploration and experimentation. Economic development, among other things, requires breaking away from the shackles of traditions and beliefs that restrict growth. For example, if crossing the seas were a taboo, there would not have been international trade and the resultant economic growth. Functions of an entrepreneur Functions in relation to his enterprise An entrepreneur's major role and function always lies in his business. The important role of an entrepreneur in his business is discussed below. Taking initiative Entrepreneurship is a proactive activity that takes such actions which others can't even perceive. This unique function of entrepreneurship provides our civilization with a wide variety of products, ways of actions, production techniques, etc. Organizing resources Organizing entails identifying those resources that are required to transform a particular idea into reality. The resources include human and non-human resources. Organizing an entrepreneurship will increase productivity, promote new venture, distribute and supervise work and responsibility and will remove barriers to work. Identifying opportunities and prospects Entrepreneurship searches those activities of value that have an economic and social contribution. It identifies new opportunities in socio-economic arena which have got profitable prospects. Therefore, entrepreneurs are called as searchers of hopes. Risk-taking Entrepreneurship takes the risk for new venture, for innovative actions in the field of production technology, for new products in a volatile market and for new raw materials used in production. Decision making. Entrepreneurship is a new initiative. Therefore, it has to take decision about multivariate issues that affect new ventures. Entrepreneurship has to decide upon equipment to be used, quality, price and its variation, 
deficiency, capital structure, feasibility of project and other various areas of business. Innovation. Entrepreneurship innovates new production process or technology. Market. Sources of new materials, management or technique, investment opportunity, etc. Qualities of a good entrepreneur Characteristics of a successful entrepreneur Some business experts suggest that entrepreneurial drive is innate, a trait acquired at birth, while others believe that anyone can become an entrepreneur. Whether a person is born to it or develops it, there are characteristics and traits required for successful entrepreneurship, including Passion Talk to successful entrepreneurs and you will nearly always hear the word passion when they describe what they do. Following your passion is one of the best predictors of success. Self-confidence this is not to say entrepreneurs never have self-doubt, but they're able to overcome it and believe they can achieve their goal. Resourceful and problem solvers. Lack of assets, knowledge and resources are common, but entrepreneurs are able to get what they need or figure out how to use what they've got in order to reach their business goals. Vision. Some of the more stringent definitions of entrepreneurship include vision as a necessary element. It helps to know your end goal when you start. Further, vision is the fuel that propels you forward toward your goal. Persistence. A never-say-die attitude. Not giving up easily. Striving continuously until success is achieved. Commitment to work contract. Taking personal pains to complete a task as scheduled. Attending to production. Marketing and financial aspects of the overall business strategy. Concern for employee welfare. Believing in employee well-being as the key to competitiveness and success and initiating programs of employee welfare. Issues and problems of an entrepreneur. Problems faced by an entrepreneur. A business enterprise comes into existence due to the pioneering efforts of entrepreneurs. However, there are several issues and problems faced by entrepreneurs while giving shape to their idea. These are as follows. Selection of business. The entrepreneur might be having a very good business idea. However, successful implementation of the idea into business activity involves a painstaking exercise. First of all, he or she has to study the market to know whether the idea of products or services could be accepted by the market. Choice of form of business enterprise. There are various options available to the entrepreneur as far as the choice of form is concerned. He or she may go in for sole proprietorship, a partnership or a joint stock company. The choice is rather difficult issue. Financing. The problem of arranging finance always troubles the entrepreneur. As you know, without capital, no business activity can be started. Capital is needed for the entrepreneur to buy fixed assets like land and building, machinery and equipment, etc. Location. The problem of locating the business unit is another issue for consideration that should be carefully handled by entrepreneur. Location of a business unit depends upon many factors like availability of raw material, availability of transport, power, water, nearness to the market, etc. Size of the unit. Size of the business is influenced by several factors like technical, financial and market considerations. When entrepreneurs feel that they can market the intended products or services and can raise sufficient amount of capital, they can start their operations in a big way. Suitable manpower if the size of business is large, the entrepreneur has to find suitable competent persons for various functional areas. Entrepreneurial Process 
the entrepreneurship is a continuous process that needs to be followed by an entrepreneur to plan and launch the new ventures more efficiently. The important process are discussed here. Discovery. An entrepreneurial process begins with the idea generation, wherein the entrepreneur identifies and evaluates the business opportunities. The identification and the evaluation of opportunities is a difficult task. An entrepreneur seeks inputs from all the persons including employees, consumers, channel partners, technical people, etc. to reach an optimum business opportunity. Once the opportunity has been decided upon, the next step is to evaluate it. Developing a business plan Once the opportunity is identified, an entrepreneur needs to create a comprehensive business plan. A business plan is critical to the success of any new venture since it acts as a benchmark and the evaluation criteria to see if the organization is moving towards its set goals. Resourcing The third step in the entrepreneurial process is resourcing wherein the entrepreneur identifies the sources from where the finance and the human resource can be arranged. Managing the company once the funds are raised and the employees are hired, the next step is to initiate the business operations to achieve the set goals. First of all, an entrepreneur must decide the management structure or the hierarchy that is required to solve the operational problems when they arise. Harvesting The final step in the entrepreneurial process is harvesting wherein an entrepreneur decides on the future prospects of the business, that is, its growth and development. Here, the actual growth is compared against the planned growth and then the decision regarding the stability or the expansion of business operations is undertaken accordingly by an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship and Management Many people these days tend to use terms that other may not really understand. Entrepreneur and manager are two such terms. An entrepreneur is basically a person who sets up their own business. They are responsible for every single factor in that business, no matter how small or how big. A manager is a person who manages things. The thing that he or she manages can be anything, no matter how small or how big. The major difference between these two terms are discussed here. Business Formation An entrepreneur is a person who sets up a business or businesses, taking on financial risks in the hope of profit. But a manager is a person responsible for controlling or administering an organization or group of staff. Decisions An entrepreneur's decisions are driven by inductive logic, courage and determination. That is why the decision-making is intuitive. On the contrary, the decision-making of a manager is calculative as they are driven by deductive logic, the collection of information and advice. Business. An entrepreneur set up his own business and whereas a manager works in someone else's company as an employee. Financial risks. An entrepreneur assumes the risk of running the business. However, a manager has no risk of running the business entity. Reward. Reward for a businessman or an entrepreneur is profit. But the reward for a manager is his salary for the work he is doing. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Entrepreneur is an agent who buys means of production at certain prices in order to sell the produce at certain prices in the future. He combines all other factors like land, labor and capital and assumes the risk of running the business enterprise. Entrepreneurship is a systematic purposeful and creative activity which involves identification of needs, mobilization of resources and organizing of production. An enterprise is the outcome object of the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship which comes under the scope of an undertaking, especially one of some scope, complication 
and risk. It is a business organization. Entrepreneurship is a systematic, purposeful and creative activity which involves the mobilization of the important factors required for production like land, labor capital and organization.